Use a pressure dressing to control non-life-threatening bleeding of the arms and legs and some life-threatening bleeding of the head, neck, and torso. Note that many commercial pressure dressings have their own instructions provided by the manufacturer. Follow those instructions when possible. Generally, to use a pressure dressing, remove the pressure dressing from its packaging. Position the sterile dressing pad over the wound. Wrap the bandage around the wounded limb or body part. Begin on the edge furthest from the torso if possible. Pull the bandage tightly and ensure that the sterile dressing pad is fully covered by the bandage. Ensure that the bandage is properly secured. If you need additional pressure, twist the portion of the bandage on top of the pad's location. Wrap around the body part, twist back, and finish wrapping the bandage. Never wrap pressure dressings around the neck. Instead, apply them to the injured side of the neck and sling the wrapping around the opposite underarm. If the bleeding continues, do not remove the first pressure dressing. Apply a second dressing over the first one. If the hemorrhage is non-life threatening, ensure that the pressure dressing does not impair circulation or nerve function, assuming they were not impaired before application. Loosen and re-secure the pressure dressing if necessary. Reassess the casualty to ensure that bleeding remains controlled. If you do not have a commercial pressure dressing available, you can use gauze or other dressing pads along with an elastic ace wrap or other bandaging material. If a wound to the arm or leg continues to bleed profusely, apply a tourniquet. 